for you. Ding! Nice hit! Yeah! Yeah! That is what you guys will hear when you come to a University of Indianapolis baseball game. Going to a UND game is a great way to spend your day or your afternoon. Currently, UND is 14 and 10 on the year, which means we have 14 wins and 10 losses. Also, we are 10 and 4 in the conference, which also means we have 10 wins and losses in the conference. Right now, according to baseballnews.com, we are not ranked, but if we continue to play the way that we are right now, I can tell you in the next few weeks we will be ranked. Most of you guys here probably say you have school spirit, and if you want to back that up, then you probably should listen to what I have to say about UND Baseball here today. I currently am a member of UND Baseball, um, which <laughs> means that I'm very qualified to speak to you guys on the topic today. As you can see right here, here are my credentials. I am an outfielder. I'm six foot two inches. I weigh 185 pounds. And yes, I am a little self-conscious. So if you guys can please refrain from using terms like fatty, just please be a little respectful for me. Also, I'm a freshman. I'm from Sioux Falls, South Dakota. So today I'm going to tell you guys about how coming to a UND game could be a great way to spend your day or your afternoon. And also, how when you guys come into our games, it really helps us win, and it helps us play better, and that could potentially lead to us winning a national championship here. UND needs more people in their stands. It's just that plain and simple. When you go, they're not even really half full, and even according to sophomore John Thomas, baseball player, he says that the stands are a lot less full than they were last year. Mm -hmm. Right now, I want you guys to picture this for me. I want you to picture this field right here. Let's imagine that it's the Indy field and there's nobody in the stands. It's a beautiful day, girls are tanning, they're coming out to enjoy some nice, beautiful what? Baseball butts. <laughs> <laughs> now, back to the situation. It's UND versus the Lewis Flyers. It's the last series of the year, and it's a huge game. Whoever wins this game is definitely going to the playoffs, and they're gonna make the GLVC tournament. The GLVC tournament is quite big. It's the postseason, and if you, it's basically you make it to the postseason or your season's over. So clearly you would want to win that. Now, if you guys have no fans of the game, tell me who do you think has the advantage? Nobody. Because there's no fans there to support, and really either team has a shot then. Now I'll scroll by the baseball outs for another couple seconds. Take another look. Okay. <laughs> and now I want you guys to picture this again. This is a different situation I'm going to compare right here. The stands are full. Everybody's having a good time, laughing, cheering on. Clearly, these are all UND fans. They're just having a great time. And that clearly gives us an advantage. And I'm going to say we're probably going to win this game against Lewis, go on to probably win the national championship, just because you guys came to one game. Now, UND is, in the past 10 years, according to UND. UNDAthletics.com, 155 to 60 at home. That is 155 wins to 60 at home. And the past 10 years on the, um, the road, we're at 124 and 110. So as you see, our home games are much better, and we have a lot more losses on the road and a lot less wins on the road. If you guys, can, if you guys do not come to our games, then our road record will become similar to our home record. And if that happens, then we'll probably be screwed and not win, and probably not win the national championship like we want to. A good way to get our name out there is advertising. So I think a great way to advertise is using social media, and you can always go through Twitter with that. You can always follow our UND Baseball team right here, at UND Baseball. Going through UND Baseball, um, the tweets are full of uh, weather, just game updates, where, when they are, home or away and it's a really good site to follow. And also for the rest of the season, I myself will be tweeting when we have home games, so you guys can go give me a follow. That is perfect. And then I'll be tweeting out when our home games are, and that will be great for you guys as well. So when you go to the UNI games, there's probably only about, what, 15 to 20 fans there. And right now I'm looking at you guys. Quick counter, yes. We have about probably 15 to 20 you in this class, which means if you all came to one game, we would almost double the home attendance, which that probably doubles our chances to win as well. As well as so I really appreciate you guys coming out. But also, one thing you guys don't know about a baseball team, it takes a major amount of swag and confidence dripping in it right now, right? Okay. 
Um, if you need that swag confidence, you gotta be at home. UND currently, we started four and eight on the year, which is pretty bad, and then we didn't have any home games yet. Once we got home, we have won 10 out of our last 12 games, which is quite significant. So, key point is when you guys come to our game, we get that confidence and we start winning. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. I don't know a lot about baseball, or I don't have time to come to these games. Well, fun fact for you guys, most of our games are actually on the weekends. And also, if you don't know anything about baseball, you can always go to und.edu and find out that we do have a class here for methods of teaching and coaching baseball. So then you can learn a lot about sport, and we can all be happy. <laughs> now, one more time, I want you to picture this. Picture a full field. Bring it back to that. Right here. And we're winning the games because you guys are coming. And that leads to us having a national championship trophy in Ruth Lilly Fitness Center. Now I want to ask you guys to come on out to our games. Um, we got nine home games left this year. We have McKendry, Notre Dame, Wisconsin, Parkside, all the bowl games. If you guys want to take out your phones real quick and snap a quick picture for me, that would be perfect. Um, the dates are on the left side, as you see. And on the top, I put that all games are 12 and 3. So as you know, the time's not in there, but now you know the time's. Alright, got that picture? Alright, now I just want to ask you guys to come out and support the Jones, and thank you very much.